Good afternoon and welcome back to the one Celtic fans view in this afternoon's news. There's big breaking news this afternoon. Celtic have finally offloaded a player that was brought in by Ange Postacoglu and has, let's face it, done absolutely nothing at Celtic. Yusuke Aida Gucci, Celtic transfer fee has been revealed. The midfield player has, is leaving Celtic. Uh, the Japanese international has been subject to a few clubs actually sniffing around, but Celtic have reportedly agreed an £870,000 deal for Aideguchi. The Japan international spent the last 12 months back in his homeland on loan. He earned um, a nomination for Player of the Year, which is uh, quite remarkable. However, uh, multiple reports in Japan have stated that uh, VCL Kobe have won the race for his signature and Aideguchi his transfer will be made official on January the 15th when the J1 League window opens. Celtic will see them uh, get back, so obviously a big chunk of the money that they spent on him. He is 27-year-old. The defensive midfield, midfield player just uh, made the six appearances for Celtic um, and the start came in a 2-1 Scottish Cup. Went away to Alawa, um, Ida Gucci was one of the first ones that was actually mentioned with Celtic and he was meant to be the best player um, that Ange Postecoglou picked. If you take a, the one an article from back then, it said that Celtic have an agreement in place with Oscar um, for the player who joined Leeds in 2018. He didn't make any appearances for the West Yorkshire club. He never made any appearances for Leeds. Surely Ange Postecoglou must have seen that he wasn't able to do it in a, a European level. Anyway, he went on. He went out on loan to Germany and Spain from Leeds and then he went back to Japan where Ange Postacoglu made the move for the player who was expected to fly to Scotland at the end of that month. Uh, the 25-year-old at the time uh, was obviously going to get his medical at Celtic, get his visa and work permit. Ida Gucci made 29 appearances in 2019. Uh, he's not added to the 15 caps that he had before 2019. Um, Ida Gucci's energetic style, ability to capture the ball, helped them remain in the J-League, um, which was interesting. And then it went on to say that Sky Sports have claimed Celtic are also tracking three players, Dyson Maida, Rio Hitati and Aida Gucci. Well, that one worked out well, didn't it? Um, it's good that Celtic are obviously getting some money back for the player. Brendan Rodgers has said that he's, he's having a bit of a clear out. I think next out the door will be Benji Segrist, Yoki Kobayashi, Alexandro Bernabe, uh, James McCarthy, Quan, Mikey Johnson, and Nat Phillips, and then maybe even Gustav Lagerbelk is going to go out on loan. We'll see what transpires with that one. That is it for this afternoon's version of the Celtic News. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you share it out to everyone that you know so that uh, Aida Gucci is gone. That's the first out the door. Have a fantastic day at the game today. If you're at the game today, if you're watching this after the game, well, you missed out on a cracking news story. Anyway, on that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world.